What's up everyone, this is Dre Trades, and this is kind of a public service announcement. Um, I've been noticing a lot of different things in the market, and um, basically, this really kind of goes out to the new people and call buyers, all right? So, when you buy calls, for the most part, you're, you're basically, you're going for it all. You're going to try to hit a home run, and you're, you're stepping up to the plate, you're loaded up, and boom, you're going to knock it out the park. When you buy calls and then you're right about a position in a direction, oh my God, you're going to make a boatload of money, a boatload of money. Um, I wish it was that easy, but over the years, I should say over the past year, it has been that easy. I mean, the only trade to buy was calls for the most part calls. As long as it was out further enough, calls was the trade. We was only down. If, if the market were to go down, we only down like, I don't know, maybe the worst 28 days or something like that, right? Four weeks, the most. But so if your calls was out further enough and you had time, oh man, you, you're going to make a killing every time. I, I wish I can go back from the, uh, the COVID lows and just load up, load up the boat with calls. I don't need any stock position. I don't need any shares. Just buy me, just, just give me any position and I want to buy calls on it. And that's basically been the trade. That's been the trade to beat. That's been the correct trade uh, since for over the last 10 months. That's the trade. That's the only trade. It's, it, reason why I say that's the only trade, because it doesn't even matter what stock you was in. You could have anyone just, just pick a stock, put all the stocks on the board. This is like an old school saying because the stocks used to be listed in the newspaper, right? Show the stock section, get some darts, boom, 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 throw three, four darts at it. Whenever it lines by the calls, it worked. A rising tide lifts all boats, meaning the market's going up. Everything is going up with it. So here's the problem. Uh, 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 most of us is new. We're following different things like Wall Street bets. We're following YouTubers like myself. Even though I'm never, I never said, hey, buy the calls in this position. But a lot of YouTubers are I mean, like, buy the calls. Yeah, you know, get into the calls and they see these positions. They want to get in calls and they're right. They have been right. These guys are not geniuses. There's nothing special about them. If the market's going up, cause by cause, basically, how could you be wrong? You can't be wrong. The last 10 months, you cannot be wrong. Everyone is a genius. I could get a monkey and say, what stock do I want to buy? He goes, eep, 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 eep. and I buy calls. He's a genius. But that's not the case, man. Everyone is not a genius. So this is my public service announcement to let everyone know to be careful because I do feel we're getting toppy. I don't know how long the run's going to go. I don't know how long the being calls, buying calls is going to be right. I don't know. Me personally, I like call spreads, give you a little protection. I do own some calls, I got to admit, and I'm only following the trend. It's totally not my trade, but I've just been following what's been working and I'm only doing it because it has been working, but I'm ready to jump off that boat in a minute. Like, this ain't working no more, <laughs> all right? But so where I'm getting at is be careful with the people that's, hey, buying calls. The whole thing is, hey, buy this call, buy that call. Look at my portfolio. Look how large it is. I, I got all these calls because that's not going to work all the time. That It's really, it's just a method that don't work. And it's generally a method that you will blow your account up on. You ask anyone that has blown up on an account. They was buying calls. They was buying. I blew up two accounts. Guess what? I was in the calls. I remember my first account I blew up. It was Apple. I was in Apple calls. Um, the second account I blew up, I can't remember. I think I was in the oil stocks when oil was hot. I, you know, blew it up because it all comes to an end. And so now that everything is frothy, everyone's making money. Your portfolios is large. They're huge. I mean, everyone can get in and make money. Everyone, and how you make money, you're talking to your friends and you're like, oh, buy these calls. If you bought the GameStop calls, not only would you, but you could possibly have been a millionaire if you held on to that. That These are once in a lifetime type position type moves. I So this is really, I hope I'm making any sense because I'm really all over the place. This is my public service announcement. Please be careful. That trade generally blows your account up. And we just happen to be right. We all know this is a different market for the last 10 months. It's just been different. Nothing like we never seen before. 
And that's been the trade. But there's going to come to a time to where that's not the trade. And to the to, to traditional stuff that's been working over the last hundred years is going to be the trade again. And that's just caution, a stock picking, right? Uh, buying call spreads, calendars, um, different types of option type traits. Those are the ones that work. Credit spreads, right? Credit spreads has been working wonderfully in this market, but unfortunately, it doesn't give you the alpha like call buying does. Like I could have bought a credit spread and say Airbnb. Well, woo, woo, woo. I made 50 bucks. When if I was in the calls, I could have made thousands. So that's what people's going to, going to, going to. So just be careful, man. I'm seeing too many YouTubers and people on the forums. Just call this, call that, call that, get in the calls. I'm even CNBC is down with, with the Nigerian brothers. Oh, get the calls, I'm in the calls, I'm in the calls, I'm in the calls. Everything is calls. Trust me, if I'm ever right about anything, this has got to be what I'm right about. That that trade is not going to work. That trade will come to an end. And when it does, you're so convinced. You're so, it's been working. This is how you got your account to be such and such large. It will destroy your account and blow it up. Especially if you're not out far enough. That's why I always say, to forget those short-term calls by far out. At least when you see it going wrong, you still have time. You want time on your side with these things. Now, a lot of you already know how dangerous it could be, right? Because if you have a call portfolio, a portfolio built on calls, just look at any big down day. I know when a day a down's down three, four hundred dollars and you load it up with calls, your portfolio is getting destroyed. You probably feel like, oh man, I you, you you probably feel that this is you probably question yourself, right? And then it's down another day. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Oh, oh. But if you hold on for just the third day because the NASDAQ, and most people are in the NASDAQ calls or any call associated with a stock associated with the NASDAQ, it doesn't go down for longer than two days. That's been the trade. So basically, if you hold on, boom, the next two days you're up again, right? So you know the next time it goes down, you even buy more calls. You, you, you're you loading up on calls on down days. But there's going to come a time where it just doesn't go back up. It just keeps going down. It keeps going down and it keeps going down. Next thing you know, you're blown up, right? So that's my public service announcement. I just want everyone to be careful and be wary of people that just have a call portfolio. Yes, it's been working. It, it has been working. That's been the trade. But the geniuses in the stock market are not the ones that can prove themselves when the market is going up. It's the ones that can prove themselves and maintain profitability or maintain an average higher than the S&P when the market is going down. That's when you can separate who's who and who's not who. <laughs> Does that make any sense? So follow the people. Well, a lot of you are new to the market, so I can't even say follow the people because there just hasn't been a downturn. The last downturn we've seen was COVID shoot the last four weeks. You blinked and it was over. If you went on vacation long enough and came back, it was over. So you don't know. You don't, you don't know what's right. <laughs> you, you don't basically, how can I say this? You don't even know what it looks like when things kind of have any uh, longevity, there we go, to the downside. But I'm telling you, before it happens, and if your lo portfolio is loaded up with calls, that you will get destroyed. You will get destroyed, and you will blow your account up. So take that money you got, start buying some shares, and limit your, your portfolio call exposure. Do it now because uh, don't don't blow up. Don't blow up, man. You only can. It takes forever to start an account again. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't want to do it. And, it and, and if you know what blowing up, let's put it this way. The last 10 months, if you was a put buyer, you blew up. <laughs> you blew up already. Right. But there hasn't been no put buyers. I don't see anyone even thinking about buying a put. Not even thinking about buying a put, put spread, put caught calendar. You, you just don't see it. I don't see nothing about protection. That's why, that's where I'm worried. Because I'm just seeing a lot of people waiting to get their money in, even this new stimulus of 1400 to get in there and start racking up 
on the calls. And any kind of downturn that's sustainable with longevity behind it, or even steep enough, and if you're in those short-term calls, anything 60 days or less, you're going to blow up. All right, so I hope I got my message across. And I hope you like this video. This is Dre Dre Trades. Yeah, like it. Subscribe. Hit the bell. I'm on Instagram Dre Trades. Twitter Dre Trades right here on YouTube. Get in, the, get in the comments and let me know how you feel about that. Get in the comments and let me know if you're the one. They're like, oh my gosh, you know what? I do got a lot of calls on. Or if the market starts going down and you're the one that don't know what to do, right? Tell you what to do, sell. <laughs> don't be the one. That's how you blow up. You hold on and you start you praying. I'm like, all I need is to go up. It just doesn't do it. And next thing you know, it happens in a blink of an eye. Your $50,000 portfolio, 25000 next thing you know is, let's say you're 50, your $50,000 portfolio, next thing you know is 30000 next thing you know is 15, 10, and then maybe you'll sell then, and then you try to go all in on something, and then that doesn't work, and then boom, zero. So take it from me, man. I blew up two accounts, and, and if, you, if you didn't blow up an account or not listen to someone that has done that already probably don't want to follow them because i think we all need that experience of blowing up to know what it's like to um to trade or to be successful i feel personally you have to blow up once <laughs> to be real <laughs> all right to be to understand the game you have to blow up at least once all right thanks for watching everyone this is dre dre trades i'm out peace